If you guys are looking for the absolute cheapest coins on the internet right now, head on over to my sponsor, AO. EAH.com. They got the cheapest coins on the market. You can get a million for under 50 bucks. Save that money. Make sure to always use code Poodle at checkout to get your additional 3% off. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over my team of the week, week five predictions for the NFL, guys. Now, we had a really good day in the NFL yesterday. A lot of good games, like a lot of good games. Um, for fantasy, a lot of high scorers. Honestly, I had one of the best weeks in fantasy of my life. And now, I don't know if you guys consider fantasy relevant to the Madden channel, but I do know that Team of the Week performances are based off performances, and fantasy is also based off performances, so there is some correlation. Now, in terms of fantasy, guys, I had I had Hertz, who had three points going to like the third quarter and killed it at the end. I had Kamara, and one I had Zeke, I had Pitts, I had Chase, I had Tony. I mean, it was just, it was a great, it was a great day. I had Carolina defense, but nonetheless, I had a great fantasy day. I'm in a good mood today. I may have broken our league single game scoring record. Probably. I'm pro Oh, I did. I, or I'm about to. I did have Clyde at one point though, which kind of may have messed that up. I'm, I know I'm really close to it, but anyways, before we get into the video, if you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn that noti bell, give this video a big thumbs up as always guys. And of course, if you're new to the channel, and you guys don't know what's going on today. I will, I'll describe, you know, the, the predictions, kind of how this goes on. And I'll break it all down for you. But team of the week tomorrow, uh, 1 to 3 p.m. Eastern time. You guys know how the target, the targeting time thing works. We will be seeing all that tomorrow. But if you guys need coins to pick up any of these plays, you want to prep for that, head on down below to my sponsor, Super Cheap Coins. Make sure you use my code for even cheaper coins. But yeah, let's get into this. Let's start off with our bottom six player, our set players, right? The six, the three defense, three offense. Let's take a look at what we're dealing with this week. Now, one guy I think that could get an upgrade here, and he's been having a phenomenal season, honestly, in comparison to what he's been known as for the you know the first few years of his career. Kind of like a, he's like a post hype kind of guy, right? Like a guy that kind of like everyone's like, okay, we know what he is. He's a he's a two or a three, and that's what he's gonna be. He's a two or a three. He's reliable, but he's really just come on this year. That's Mike Williams. Mike Williams, I think, will be getting a plus one as a set player. Now he already has one of these, but he had another great week. He had like two 40 yard plus touchdowns. He had like a 70 to 43 or something like that. He had a great week. I think he could get another plus one. So he has an 87, which would make him powered up to an 88, which would give him the plus one to 89, which I think is good for him. Next, I know this might be a tough one, but I think Brady might also be getting a plus one. I know he just got his record breaker card, but he had an, he had a great week. I mean, he was the highest fantasy score of this week. If he get if he gets the record breaker card, guys, oh the plus one to this card, he will get a 95 overall after being powered up all the way. It's kind of crazy. That's a high, you know, it's Dan Marino-esque. I, I think they may, only reason they wouldn't do it is for that reason, to not tie Dan Marino, but if they go ahead and do that route, that's pretty good. Next, we have Nick Chubb. I think he could be getting a plus one as well. We currently have a 91 overall Chubb, which means he goes to 92, which means he would have a 93. A 93 overall Nick Chubb would be really good. I mean, it wouldn't be like, you know, probably, I don't know if it'd be meta yet, but he'd still, he'd have a 92 speed, like 92 excel. He'd be up there, right? He'd be getting up there in some key stats. His speed would be very competitive at that point. Who knows, but it, it could be good. And then I'm going to probably just name off the rest of these guys. Obviously, the, the only one that maybe has some relevance here, which Bill's theme teams. I think Micah Hyde could get one too. He did pretty well. I believe he had a pick, a pick six. Maybe not. Maybe not a pick six. I don't remember. He, he did well though. I saw the stats. Um, Micah Hyde is an 89 right now. Decent plus one. Decent card. Not the most special thing, but could be good for, you know, Bill's slash pack, uh, Packers theme team. So it really just depends on what you're rocking with. But moving on. We got uh, Anthony Brown, Trey Hendrickson is the other two, but let's get into the legend predictions. So first one, guys, that for my legend prediction for week five of a past year's Dre Bly. Dre Bly in one week, in the week five in the past year, had two picks and a forced fumble. And I think one of them may have even been a pick six, but here's the thing. Dre Bly is that guy, right? There's been plenty of great performances, but you have to always understand too, where some great performances, EA doesn't have their rights, or that's just not a like. You know, like that fourth cornerback on the Giants right now? No, you probably don't, right? That fourth cornerback on the Giants in 2011, their fourth cornerback on the Giants, came in, subbed into a game, or off special teams forced a fumble and got a pick six, and no one remembered him because he was that fourth cornerback on the Giants. He was never good. That guy may have had the best performance of week five in a few years, but he's just not going to get the card. It's very rare. They usually do a bit more of reputable people, or at least people like we're used to seeing, right? So Dre Bly feels like that guy. Two picks and a fumble. He still had a great performance nonetheless, but there was a few guys where I was like, they could have been a better, but I don't think they'll get a card, right? Next for my legend, we got Micah. Nope, not Micah. We have Miles Austin, Cowboys wide receiver. Now, if you guys have been watching football for long enough, you know about Miles Austin. I actually watched him a decent amount when I first started watching football. He was, you know, he was around throughout the 
2010s to the 2020s like in between that 10 year period he was somewhere in between there i don't remember the exact times but he was good miles austin in again another week had 250 yards and two touchdowns that's a phenomenal week that's borderline records right there i mean miles austin was never you know a world beater he was never this prominent wide receiver but he was always good he was always like that solid two solid three at one point a solid one potentially like, he was always good i would never say he was like that guy but he was good um 250 yards and two touchdowns that's like i said borderline record breaking right there like yards wise that's a phenomenal game if you were playing fantasy guys that would be if you're ppr i mean he's got to you gotta be looking at him, you know, like 50 points right i mean that's just crazy. 25 points off yardage you're looking at another maybe 15 worth of ppr catches right that's 40 um unless those were all big ones you know what i mean point is he's looking over 50 points that was a great week miles austin could most certainly get a card Cowboys, not exactly the happiest about that one, but it's very possible. For my current hero of the week, that's the top performer from this week in the NFL. I'm dealing with Justin Herbert. He's been playing off the charts, and not just stat-wise, but he's winning games. He's beating big opponents. They knock, they, you know, like they, they're knocking people off. They're not, they're not just versing like straight bums. You know, he's not, he's not playing. He's not just getting stats. Like he looks good. His throws look good. His, his, and he's young. Like he's just a second-year quarterback. So it's even more that all that impressive. You know what I mean? Like, I like him. He's looking good. Of course, he played well to um, justify where his stats are anyways, right? So he currently has a field general QB. That's good. He is, um, what's called a team builder. This Justin Herbert car would probably be about a 93 overall, 92 overall. Give or take powered up. He had four passing touchdowns, 400 yards, and a rushing touchdown for like another, and he had like another 29, 30 yards in the ground, and he had a rushing touchdown. Justin Herbert currently would get about a plus, let's just assume like a plus 10 overall to this, or plus nine, right? Uh, with powered up. He'd be looking at around a 94 throw power. I mean, it should be more, but it'll probably 94 throw power. He's looking at all high throwing accuracy, 80 throwing, low 90 throwing accuracy. He's looking at like an 84 speed. He would be good. He would be a really good quarterback card. People might really like him depending on how the whole release thing goes and how the abilities go. But Justin Herbert could be another really, really good card. And again, he'd probably end up looking at the, you know, 93, 94 range, depending on how they adjust overalls. But I like him. I think Justin Herbert could be really, really good. I think he'd be a fun quarterback. I think, you know, Chargers team teams would love that, especially a lot of NFL fans would love that, right? Everyone loves that young, up-and-coming superstar type guy, and Justin Herbert has that has the look of that up-and-coming superstar. If you guys, people don't already consider him that, right? He's, he's, he's elevating people around him, which is something that Brady does, right? Like Mike Williams. Mike Williams has been Mike Williams, but this year with Justin Herbert making the throws and looking his way, like, they're elevating. Keenan Allen's doing well. Austin Eckler's doing amazing. Like, the whole team just looks good. He's having like the effect, like the trickle down effect, like the, like the Kyler Murray effect to like the third wide receivers actually having some games, the third tight ends having some games, the second tight end, like he's using a bunch of people that aren't often used, all right? Like he's able to, he's able to support multiple people in the passing tree. Like I like it. He's looking good. But for the LTD current, this is going to be, like I said, to describe to you guys, a past player who had an historic performance in this week. Now this guy could be a stretch. Stats wise, he deserves it, but EA wise, they may want to save him for a bigger promo for packs and all that. You know how that goes. Aaron Donald's going to be my LTD current player. He had four sacks and a fumble. And um, I believe it was maybe 2020 or 2019. He did really well. Aaron Donald has not gotten an upgrade. He currently only has his 88 base lead. And Aaron Donald LTD current will probably be on a 93, 94 overall once again. Now, let's see how his card stacks up here. This would be a really good card. He would probably get a brown. You give or take a plus five to six overall. We're looking at around 80 speed. 80 speed, 87 Excel for Aaron Donald. That's really good. That makes that makes his speed up there for edge, you know, usability more so than just DT. His strength's like a 94, which on next gen is really good. He's 280 pounds, six foot one. His play rec's above a 90. His block shed is well above a 90. His power moves above a 90. And his finesse moves above a 90. He's going to be an all threshold edge guy, all threshold run, all world run stopper, all world pass rusher. The strength is great. The speed, everything's going to look good. Um, some other key stats notable on the back. Impact block will be above 90. His hit power has got to be around 87, 88 at that point. His pursuit will probably be, again, above close to 90, which is just... Pursuit may not sound like a lot to him, but there's times where, like, you're with a running back and you're doing, like... You're cutting back and Aaron Donald's chasing down. Or Aaron Donald, uh, he's chasing you on a zone, an outside zone, a stretch. Or you juke out a linebacker during that slow, you know, break of like acceleration. He's still flying up the field to come get you. I've even had plays where he's tackled, you know, your ends tackle wide receivers because the wide receivers do like a drag and they're running around the edge and then they do a juke back inside and the, the ends are coming for you, right? 
Pursuits, pursuits useful is my point. Uh, close to 90 tackle. This card is going to be really good, guys. But that is going to be my team of the week, week five predictions. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn that noti bell. Give this video a big thumbs up, as always. Thanks so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.